Hi, I'm Teacher Charlene, and today I'm going to read Stars, Stars, Stars by Bob Barner. But first, let's do a song. I'm going to put our hands up like this, and we're going to do Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Stars, stars, stars. Stars, stars, stars. I want to see planets and stars. Oh, I forgot to show you the page. Teachers can make mistakes too. Bright stars twinkling above big city lights. Distant planets glowing over black country nights. Constellations that take shape when I connect them with lines. Milky Way stars shining 200 billion times. Here's a question for you. How do you think they made constellations? When they find stars up in the sky at night and they put them all together and it turns into something. If you ask, you could probably find some different ones with your family up in the sky, like the Big Dipper or Orion. That's my favorite one. I kind of think of it as kind of a dot to dot. When you connect the dots together and it makes something. The sun that burns with golden light. Hot planet Mercury turning slowly in the night. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that the sun is actually a star? That's pretty neat, huh? Venus, the evening star, first planet to shine in the twilight sky. That's very true. Venus is the brightest out there and you think it's a star but it's not, it's a planet. Blue green earth with the dusty moon orbiting by. We had a really pretty pink moon last night. Our moon is up in the sky at nighttime, just like this. And this is kind of what our planet looks like. This is called Earth, just like it says. But it looks quite different when you see a real picture of it. Stormy Mars glowing red in the vastness of space. Giant planet Jupiter moving with grace. Saturn circled by rings and Uranus spinning on its side. Windy Neptune and tidy Pluto orbiting wide. Here's a fun fact. Pluto was always considered a planet and then they said it wasn't a planet. Then they said it was a dwarf planet. Science can change sometimes. And we think it's one thing, 
and then they turn around and say it's something different because we're always discovering new things about our world. Shooting stars, streaking tails of sparkling light, the Big Dipper holding a scoop of night. The Big Dipper was the one we were talking about. It's a constellation. And shooting stars are one of the funnest things to see. When you look up in the sky and you see a streak of light really, really quick, it's a star that is shooting across that is no longer going to stay up in the sky anymore. Star, star, stars. I want to see planets and stars tonight. That would be a fun activity. If your family wants to go outside and go look up at the stars. It's a nice day, so we might be able to see some, depending on where you live. Those are all the different ones. The Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and little Pluto. My favorite. The end. Look at this shape. It's very different from the other ones we were talking about before. It has different sides, kind of like the square and the rectangle and the triangle. If you look, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different sides. And how many corners does it have? This is a tricky one because even though this is a corner, this is a corner too. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The same amount of sides and the same amount of corners. Stars are up in the sky. Do you think they look like this? We like to think so, but I bet if you look through a telescope, you'd see a different story. Make sure to go outside and enjoy some time with your family, if you can, okay? And until next time, bye.